today on Montana Dana. I take a much needed self care day, try on some outfits for my new musical, go rollerblading, and then take a hippie midnight sound bath. Thank you, Factor, for sponsoring this video. Good morning, my beautiful and lovely friends. Today is Sunday, so I'm just doing kind of a self care and reset sort of day. Gonna do red light therapy, get back on the eating healthy train, get my steps in, get some sunshine, move my body. You know the drill. I love when the sun shines in through my crystals. I already did a coffee walk this morning and just got some steps in. I love St. George in the spring. It is my favorite place to be. Fun little park over yonder, bike path over there. A self-care day for me looks a little different these days than it used to. I used to do things you're supposed to do, but I didn't really enjoy them that much. But self-care for me lately is just doing things that genuinely bring me joy. So self-care today might be playing guitar. Self-care might be rollerblading. Self-care might be meeting up with my friend and hanging out. I don't know, we'll see where the day takes me. But Something I really genuinely enjoy is writing in my journal and I'm finishing the script for episode three for Influencer of the Musical, so finishing that up today. You're doing work on your self-care day. I don't know about you, but when I'm passionate about something, I'm constantly doing it. Even on my walk, I'm coming up with ideas. So yes, on my self-care day, I'm going to be doing some work. I'm going to find, there's a specific dress I know is in that table, like down behind it in a box. So I need to get that out, but I'm gonna get my outfits planned for the rest of the week and get ready to film. But first things first, I always get these little like rosacea patches on my face, but when I do red light therapy, it always, always clears up. And I don't know if this is backed in any sort of science, but it's fun. The different colors apparently have different benefits. Originally, I was gonna use this for my AI character. Does it lighten your teeth? But today I'm feeling some purple light. Let's see, what is purple light for? Rejuvenation fights off acne and signs of aging while reducing inflammation, scars, and sagging. That is so exciting. It really does hurt my eyeballs though. While I do that, I also do oil pulling. I'm gonna do my tongue scraping and then swish some coconut oil around in my mouth with a couple drops of clove. Have you ever tried oil pulling? I hear it has health benefits but I know it whitens my teeth. So what do I have to lose, really? I like tongue scraping. I don't know if it really gets rid of the bacteria in your mouth, but it gets the coffee stain off of my tongue, so. Also trying to drink more water. I'm starting to feel like me again. I've had a pretty rough several months, just mentally, emotionally, etc., and I'm reaching homeostasis again, and it feels really, really, really good. Okay, it's not a liquid. Ew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something about this that just, it just makes me happy. This is a vibe. <laughs> trying to make this all look cute and it's quite dusty. Maybe I'll do a deep clean today. Mm. Deep cleaning does not spark joy. Ready for the day, feeling good. I'm about to go through my dresses, try stuff on, pick stuff out for new episodes, but I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna share with you the sponsor for the day. But first, I just need to take a little shower. There we go. Mm. Nice, nice. Have you guys tried Sugarberry? Good Chemistry is the brand. I love this scent. It's so nice. If you made it this far in the video, I wanna know what your favorite scent is down in the comments. I like to switch it up every couple of months. There's a time when I was a Daisy by Marc Jacobs girl. There was a time when I was a Viva La Juicy girl. I just am having a perfume identity crisis. So help the sister out. I just got a bunch of stuff out of storage and I found my crystal bowls. Um, I'm using them for a character named Chakra in the upcoming episode three, Influencer the Musical. But I've been really loving playing these and just kind of sitting and meditating. Cut to yesterday morning. Oh, hello. I'm just taking a bath. A sound bath? 
some days I look really cute and like I have all my shit together. Other days I'm just like, I'm just healing. I'm just healing and it's ugly. And since I do not have a shower in my van, I have to give myself a sound bath every morning. Healing is not a linear journey, nor is it a pretty one. It's messy, it's got its ups and downs, but this is a practice I'm doing. Um, start my day off with love and gratitude, and this is a good like symbol. Like, remember, we're gonna start our day with love and gratitude. I'm going full on hippie, and it feels great. And it's like happy tears, sad tears, but I'm just letting whatever comes up, come up, and not judging it. That's for you guys to do. You can judge me all you want. And it's vulnerable to share myself mid crying, mid healing. But um, I think normalizing that journey is somewhat important. It's, it's a messy journey. It's not like, oh, I'm healed and now everything's great. It's like, I'm, I do some healing and then stuff comes up for me. I'm just trying to rewire my nervous system. I'm worthy, you're worthy, we're all worthy of love. So I'm gonna go back to bathing now. I'll see you later. I've been really enjoying them. So I took them out into the park about a week ago and I was so embarrassed to do that in public. And I was like, people are gonna think I'm a freak. But actually it had the opposite effect. A couple different groups of people came up to me. There was a pregnant lady and her husband. There was a guy and his kid. And then there was another guy and they all came up to me and they were interested in it. And we all just started talking and it was kind of, it was a good conversation starter. So I actually just ran into the guy with his kid and I told him, that I'm gonna do like an after dark sound bath, cause why not? I got little puck lights to put into the crystal bowls. I'm gonna do that tonight, so it'll be fun. But first, it's almost one o'clock and I am starving, so I'm gonna eat a little food. Before I eat, I would like to share something with you. Today's video is sponsored by Factor, fresh, never frozen meals that take two minutes to make. Yes, please. Yes, please and thank you. Factor sponsored one of my old videos when I was moving back into my trailer but now that I'm traveling full-time, I'm excited to see how this goes. So let's take a look at what's in the box. Check it out. They sent me six different meals. I already ate one of them yesterday. And right now, I'm kind of feeling the chicken piccata. So I don't actually have a microwave in here. You heat it and eat it in two minutes. And I'm sure I can make it in my little skillet. But I'm actually walking distance from a microwave. They have one at the gas station and at the grocery store. So I'm just going to go pop it in real quick. Super easy. I have a vertical fridge and it's pretty small so these stack up in my fridge really easily they fit perfectly look how easily these just stack up in my fridge like so and then look how perfect this fits here it's like my fridge was designed for factor but oh my gosh this makes my eating experience so much easier so much more enjoyable my pet peeve is getting stuff out of my fridge like if i want to get my protein and then some cucumbers and then um like sauerkraut or whatever i have in there i have to like go digging for stuff is really nice just to reach in grab one item and then that is your whole meal so gonna go heat it and eat it they sent me the keto options now i do keto with carb cycling when i'm eating well and this will help me get back on track because i have been eating crappy it'll feel good to get back on my keto and carb cycling routine so i end up eating out a lot while i'm traveling too so this takes a lot of stress off of finding meals on the go. This has microwave instructions and conventional oven instructions, but I'll bet you I could cook it in a pan as well. Microwave, remove outer packaging and pierce plastic film a few times. So I'm gonna pierce this before I go. So it's just like ready to put in the microwave. I thought of you the other day because I came in for more donuts and I'm like, oh. <laughs> the stomach ache didn't last that long. Uh -oh. <laughs> That was almost too easy. Back home. Ooh, I got chicken piccata on my piano. I've got a lovely chicken piccata and greens. It looks creamy and delicious. Mm -hmm. It's very creamy and delicious. And then for the other five keto meals, we have spicy poblano beef bowl with roasted broccoli rice and scallion sour cream. This one is a chipotle rubbed pork chop and it's got some veg with it. Ooh, I feel like this is kind of a going grocery shopping while you're hungry sort of situation. I'm like, can I just eat them all? Roasted veggie and pesto tortellini with roasted green beans. This one does not sound keto to me, but that's totally fine. Like I 
mentioned yesterday, I do mostly keto with carb cycling. So I know that when I'm feeling a little lack of energy and it's usually due to my cycle, I'll save this one for my higher carb day. Pesto tortellini sounds amazing. This one's a sun-dried tomato chicken. And this one's spicy sweet potato and peanut sauce. So actually, it looks like they're color-coded. I think the vegetarian options are in green and then keto is in orange, which is awesome because they have all sorts of options. So whatever your diet recommendations are, they have it. And they also sent me some wellness shots. These are really, really great on the road. They sent me three different flavors. This is making me really excited to get back on my health routine because while I'm traveling, I can't even bother with cooking it just so much goes into it finding my propane tank so very excited to have these grab and go meals since I'm still camping I'm just gonna go pop one of these in the microwave today and we're gonna do spicy poblano beef bow I'm gonna go for a walk get more steps in eat some food and thank you so much factor for sponsoring this video let's give one of these a try so apple ginger lemon cayenne Ooh, that's yummy. We got a little bit of sweetness with the apple, the kick of ginger, ginger and cayenne, and then limon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you want to give it a try, head to factor75.com or click the link down below. Use code MONTANADANA50 for 50% off your first box and then 20% off your second box. Yes, you did hear me correctly. Use code MONTANADANA50 for 50% off your first box and 20% off your second box while your subscription is still active. I have a couple songs to finish. I have a song called A Little More Disco in the next episode and then also Karen has her own song. My name is Karen, forgive me for Karen. She's like, kind of sounds like meatloaf. Why are we always picking on Karens? Like Karens of the world, I have your back in episode three. Trying on these dresses is great motivation to start eating well again. But maybe you guys can help me out. I'm gonna try on three dresses and you tell me which one you like for Hariana Grande. She is the beauty influencer. Her color is red. So I just took my boxes out from behind here and I found this beauty. So is this Hariana Grande? It's like a ruffly fuller length cute dress. So if you want to vote, this is dress number one. Dress number two, I got this in Ireland actually at River Island, um, but this is super cute, super feminine, girly, and it's just a shorter length, but it's got some fun sleeves. So number two. Or number three, I also got this in Ireland. It's a floral dress. Again, we'll get it zippable in two weeks. No problems. Maybe I should get some Spanx. I've never done the Spanx thing. What, how do we feel about it? I don't mind the little belly pooch, but I just want to be able to like zip her up. We'll get there. But anyway, this is very adorable when it zips, I promise. So this one's number three. What do you guys think? Ariana Grande's character function is to come in and give people makeovers. She might have a Joyzy accent. I don't know yet. She chews bubble gum though. I do know that yet. And then I also have this one that I might actually use for Southern Belle instead of the one I just bought and save her for another character. So I'm gonna try on one more. I wanna see if the petticoat fits under this one. It has a slit, so I don't know if I can do the petticoat under it unless I like fasten it up. But what do you think? Is this one Southern Belle or the lavender one from the other day? Now that I'm seeing it on, I don't know if this is Southern Belle or if it's going to be for another character, but I feel like I'm getting ready for work at Disneyland. What do you guys think? Let me know. This one might be better for Southern Belle because I have a little, um, what is it called? It's like a little lace shoulder shrug thing to go over it and it matches the lace umbrella. I don't know. We'll see. Again, cannot fully zip it up. Future Dana, please stop going on shopping sprees when you're at your lowest weight, because then I don't have any clothes to wear. I really don't. I get, um, I, f I start feeling really good about my body, and I'm like, ooh, I want to do a little shopping spree. Get a bunch of clothes, and then gain some weight, and then can't wear any of them. All right, I'm gonna head out to do my very favorite thing. I'm gonna blast some tunes and go rollerblading on the bike path. I almost ate shit already and I haven't even left yet. Fucking boot on. Whee! I don't know what it is, but 
something tells me I shouldn't go through there. Whew. It's only been like a little over 10 minutes. So I might do like there and back again. It feels so good to get out. Oh my gosh. Seriously, this is an antidepressant. Oh, it feels good just sweating out the nasty. My set point is not happiness. My set point is kind of more on the depressive end of things. So it's work for me to feel a sense of, what's it called, homeostasis. It's getting better as I heal and let go. It's getting better when I start my day off with gratitude and journal writing and move my body during the day and just do the things I know that make me feel good. Why is it so hard to do that when you're depressed? I don't know, but I'm feeling like the biggest weight just lift off of my shoulders. I feel like me again and it feels so good. So I usually have an afternoon tea, but I ran out of my favorite tea, which is jasmine. So I have to order some, but instead I make broth. It's like chicken bouillon and I just mix it in hot water, but I also added my mushroom blend. So I'm having like a mushroom brothy drink. It's actually really satisfying. It's really good. Mmm, turkey tail. It's delicious. It's sound bath time. I see my friends over there, so it's a, a guy and his son. And I'm gonna do just a little sound bath. How cool do these bowls look with lights in them? I gave the little boy a remote and let him control the lights, so that was fun for him. And then we just hung out, had a good time. His dad's really into meditation and earthing and all that stuff, so good conversation and fun to make new friends. Okay, let's see what colors you got. Ooh, red. Well, they're all Pretty. going red in the moment. Pretty. Yeah. Light show. <laughs> Woohoo. Yeah. I love it. Oh, yeah. That's much better. It's definitely the blankets. It's the blankets. Like if you were on the concrete. Maybe we should put it on the concrete. Do you want to play Mary Had a Little Lamb? Do you remember? Or no, it was Jingle Bells. One, two, three. Yeah, you nailed it. Good job. What color are you doing next? Now I do. Mm, this one. Show. Ooh, blue. I like that. One. I love that color. It's so pretty. Ooh. I'm also enjoying practicing these because I want to go into a meditation or a yoga class and do sound baths for people. So that would be a fun side gig. Definitely loving the lights. It just adds another element and it just makes it really, really pretty and really fun. So why not? Chewbacca! Chewbacca! <laughs> okay, now you're getting our attention. Chewbacca, you know how he talks? He goes, oh, oh, oh. That's how he talks. <laughs> yeah, good job. Perfect. How old are you, buddy? Five? Five and a half. <laughs> and then what happens in two years? Eight. What happens at eight? Nine. No, no, no. When you tell Dana, what happens when you turn eight? What happens to eight? Seriously. It's like a secret I'll between start you two. making my own rules. Your own rules? Okay. Start. Do you have one in mind? What's going to be your first rule that you make? Help police officers. Clean up the trash. I love it. <laughs> Those are great rules. You know what? I can give you a special. Would you like to start that now? <laughs> I'll believe that for sure. And clean and up clean trash. trash. Those were great funny. rules. It is a chilly one tonight. That was fun. Just kind of hung out. That little kid is so cute. Holy moly. But yeah, if you made it this far in the video, write Factor down in the comments. Thank you so much, Factor, for sponsoring this video. Working hard on episode three of Influencer the Musical. In the meantime, I'm bringing you guys one vlog every week. So I will see you next week with another one.